ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, Sony's biggest gaming showcase in nearly two years. But first, as it's announced, the UK's energy price cap is being lowered. Thank goodness. Could there be an even cheaper and cleaner way to power your home in the future by harvesting electricity out of thin air? The mobile electricity generation device uses a network of protein nanowires to turn ambient humidity in the air into contained synthetic thunderstorms, essentially a small artificial cloud packed with energy. The invention by Massachusetts University Amherst called AirGen is being compared to the replicator in Star Trek The Next Generation. Now the team hopes to scale up the AirGen technology for tests in locations that could include the Amazon rainforest and Sahara Desert. Next, Sony has staged its biggest PlayStation gaming showcase in nearly three years, so what was revealed among the trailers and teasers? There is a lot, but headlines include a remake of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, which is coming to PS5, but no release date's been given. Ubisoft's next big Assassin's Creed title called Mirage is out in October and promises to be a tighter, stealthier game in comparison to the other sprawling games in the series. I've crossed paths with many during my journey for true strength. And for retro gaming fans, there's a sixth instalment of the Street Fighter franchise, which is due out very soon on the 2nd of June. Now... Scientists at CERN in Switzerland say they're a step closer to building the most accurate clock known to humanity, and it's all thanks to the discovery of a rare flash of light. Scientists have long been hunting the brief zaps from the nucleus of the element thorium, which now brings them one step closer to building a nuclear clock. We've already got atomic clocks that use the energy state of electrons to tell the time, but one of the nuclear variety would be the most precise and could even help space scientists understand more about the construction of the universe itself. A man paralysed in a bicycle accident more than a decade ago has regained the ability to stand and walk naturally using technology developed by researchers in Switzerland. Neuroscientists at the Ecole Polytechnique Federale de Lausanne have created a wireless digital bridge able to restore the connection lost between the brain and the spinal cord. The brain-spine digital interface allows 40-year-old Dutch engineer Gert Jan Oskam to regain control over the movement of his legs so he can stand, walk and even climb stairs again. Scientists say their technology also enabled Oskam to recover some of the brain function lost since his accident. Next. Defence Tech and Iran claims to have successfully test-launched a surface-to-surface ballistic missile with a potential range of over 1,200 miles. Now Tehran says its weapons are capable of reaching Israeli and American bases in the region. State television broadcast a few seconds of footage of what it said was the launch of an upgraded version of a fourth-gen ballistic missile capable of carrying a one-and-a-half-ton warhead. It comes two days after the chief of Israel's armed forces has raised the prospect of action against Tehran over its nuclear program. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science, plus cancer experiments in space and the diet that most cuts cholesterol. Why not hit follow in the meantime and give us a five-star rating? Welcome back. Research by America's Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health suggests a person's risk of dementia increases the younger they develop diabetes. Scientists say their findings indicate preventing progression from pre-diabetes to a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes could mean a substantial reduction in future dementia cases. Up to a third of Britons may have pre-diabetes where blood sugar is high but has not yet crossed the threshold for type 2 diabetes. Lab tests involving two experimental cancer drugs have been launched to the International Space Station where researchers hope to study how they respond to microgravity. It's hoped that studying the regeneration of cancerous cells aboard the ISS will dramatically reduce the amount of time it takes to test treatments on Earth. The inhibitors and cells tainted with leukemia, breast cancer and colorectal cancer launched on an Axiom private mission powered by a SpaceX rocket. 
the four astronaut crew will test the inhibitory drugs on the ISS to see if they can reverse the regeneration in diseased cells. And finally, Britain's RSPCA is warning dog owners they should avoid using bull throwers, taking their pets on bike rides or to the beach on hot summer days so the animals don't overheat. The animal welfare charity says overexertion on hot days dangerously raises dogs' risk of heat stroke and throwing devices encourage them to run for longer distances to retrieve the ball. In the UK, around one in seven dogs affected by heat-related illness dies as a result. The RSPCA says running and cycling with dogs, which have to push themselves to keep up with their human owner, also raises the risk of overheating, which can lead to dogs panting, stumbling, vomiting or collapsing. You're up to date. Come back at 4 pm for the Leader Podcast for the latest news, interviews, and analysis from the Evening Standard here in London. And we'll be back tomorrow at 1 pm. See you then.